Reaper here at OFR and a happy Easter to everybody. Although it's not Easter technically, but it will be by the time you see this tomorrow morning. So happy Easter. And for those of you who don't celebrate Easter, happy Sunday. So we got a rescue to do and a couple other little things. So stay tuned, people. All right, Rich and I just finished shopping. For tomorrow, Easter, he's doing his thing. Gotta cook. <laughs> yeah. gotta, gotta feed everybody that don't have a place to go. That's right. So, we're just picking up all the goodies for him. He's making me hungry is what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Reaper here. I guess there's a quick rescue. And I mean, quick, quick enough that Rich ain't even going to take out his groceries. He just wants me to go. So, I'm out of here. <laughs> so, I'm going down to Sterling, Ohio. I forget what I'm picking up, but we'll make a film and we'll do this rescue and we'll get down there. The guy's name is Bill and we'll see what's all involved. Uh, hopefully, I brought a couple nets and hopefully I got everything in here. Should. So, let's get down there. So, we're only like 30, 35 minutes away south of Big Riches and like I'm about five minutes away from the pickup. But boy, I tell you what, we are in farmland. In fact, there's a farmer doing his thing right there. But, yeah, we are in farmland. Um, but we're about five minutes away from pickup. Alright, 7189, I believe this is the house, so I'm going to go in and see what's going on here. Alrighty, so we made it down, and we're at Bill's house in Sterling, Ohio here, on Sterling Road. <laughs> you stay back. Okay. And then what kind of, Rich didn't tell me, what are we here to pick up then? Um, a couple of uh, tinfoil barbs. Ah, okay. Uh, oh, oh, oh. how nice. Everybody talks about the, the tank at the bedroom and then to yeah. put it to bed and everything. Uh, yeah, this is something we've had for a long time. Nice. So we, uh, we enjoy it. We're actually looking to, we just replaced the one hang on the back with a 450. Uh -huh. Super quiet. It only runs about 40 decibels. Um, we're going to replace the other one, which is a 400. Yeah, for 400. Of hearing. Right. Um, my friend Aaron works for Pet Supplies Plus in Worcester, and from what he's saying, they're not even carrying that anymore. Right. They're I just got rid of my M for 400. <laughs> yeah, he's, they're, they're going strictly to the 450 because they, mm. they're they're all enclosed and they're self priming. So exactly. Yeah. Plug it in and it fills itself. I know. So. Um, now I had talked to Rich about the, the two tin foil bars. Um, my wife was wondering if you might be able to take a couple of the plecos as well. Is that yeah. something that you can do? Yeah, we can. I, I have enough room and everything, so okay. I got a big tub actually. Okay. Actually, I got a couple big tubs. Yeah. Actually, actually, I have all Big Rich's groceries. We oh. went shopping. We got there. And we realized we were late. He took right. the eggs in so he could start <laughs> Easter dinner and said, "Get out of here and go get those fish." So. All right. Um, so I got it? tubs. Do you have like a uh, siphon, or I got a siphon hose too that we could um, do? Yeah, we got a siphon we can okay. use, and then um, I'll, just, I'll just top off when we're done. Probably what we'll do is uh, we'll bring the tub in here, and we'll get some water and carry it out, and then fill up a couple five-gallon buckets just to make sure we got enough. And okay. Then we'll get them out, get them into the, run them out to the, you know, thing, get uh -huh. it all set up. All right. And make sure we got enough. If not, we, we got two five-gallon buckets we can extract some more water from. Okay. Right. You got any more tanks for chance? Um, I have, we have a 60. I just added uh, Africans to this morning. Chicklets? Yep. Ooh, my favorite, chicklets. Yeah, my, uh, <laughs> my wife was a real big fan of Africans before. We had another tank. We had another 150 out there, and we had to downsize, unfortunately. Ah. Right now we've only got six, and they're just little guys, and they're all hiding still. Ooh. Is a Molly over here? No, they're uh, that's a Raphael catfish down inside there, and this is uh, they're a couple of Obi peacocks. Oh, um, oh there's okay. a Johanny. They're just little guys yet. Yeah, they're just they're just brand new. I um, see. Oh, that supplies Ooh. plus and Worcester just redid all their tanks. And today was the first day they could sell fish. Oh, he's nice up there. Yeah, that was one of the big OBs. 
And uh, actually, this this root system here is mm -hmm. actually something Big Rich told us about, the pothos ah. plant. <laughs> takes all the nitrates out of the water. Right. This thing's been growing in here for a year and a half now. Right, and yep. It's started out, it was just a little stem about this, this big, and he's grown this much in the last year and a half. Yeah, Richard's got to be about 30 foot long now. Yeah, we got, and we keep pulling stems off of it. The plant is over there. Now, see everybody? This is like I told you guys. If you're into the, if you're into the, the, the uh, fish and everything, they got plants here too. I'm telling you, almost everywhere I go to, the people who have fish have plants. It's amazing. <laughs> most of the, and actually most of those plants over there were... Uh, from a place I used to work for uh, a basket for my dad's funeral. Oh, really? So we call that my, my dad's forest. Oh, how nice, man. How cool. Yeah, most of those except for, there's one little plant there in the middle. It's a little bulb grass. That's mm -hmm. my wife's. And there's a tree over here in the corner. Oh, yeah. We had a uh, crested gecko in a 60-gallon ox, ox, uh, uh, octagon octagonal, yeah. octagonal tank. And we call that Sticky's tree. Uh -huh. Sticky, we ended up having to get rid of Sticky because the downsizing and everything. But right. He, uh, as far as I know, he's still alive. Oh, uh, dude, you're one of my, it. you're one of my guys. You're into the albums like I am, oh, vinyl. Yeah. I have uh, over 150 different records. And yep. So, yep. I'm yep. like you. I got a heck of a collection. Right. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, so we'll go out, we'll get the tub, we'll get it in here, we have some water in there, and we'll start getting the tin barbs, and it looks like we'll take home some plecos as well. All righty. All right, we did the big tub, we got some of that in there, and we brought that out. Now we're going to fill up a couple of these and add some more water. It's just too much to carry all at once. And then we're going to get the two silver barbs and a couple of plecos. Yeah, those, those guys have never been netted, so I'm surprised, actually I'm not surprised that they went in so easy. I don't know what it's yeah, like. Yeah, I'll hold that for you. Yeah, so, uh, oh. whoa! <laughs> That's a first. So, Bill already got the two uh, tin bars, right? Tin foil bars, yeah. Tin foil bars, they're in here. We're going to fill this one up and get the uh, plecos out. I promise I'll film them getting the plecos. So I'm gonna get these guys out and get them into the tub real quick. Okay, we got the two tinfoil barbs in here. And I'm sure by the time I get back in, he'll be netting the plecos. Under stress, because it was only three of them. Ah. And because of one of them, we had four, one jump tank and died and we didn't realize it. And then there again, we were downsizing, so. All right, now the plecos. Oh, yeah. They're a little bit harder for sure. <laughs> that's the one I want to keep. That's right. That's a nice looking one. Got him. Nice. Come on, big boy. And he's not a he's the small one. Yeah, this is the fun part though. There he goes. That wasn't bad at all. Now the big one. Yep. Woohoo! Right in front, I think. Oh, Ooh, yeah, good. yeah. Got him. Awesome. I've done this a couple times. <laughs> That, the one we're keeping, I actually caught him by hand because really? where we went to get him, uh, he didn't have a net, and I just got soaked. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Oh, I still he, love he that. Splashed. He likes splashing. Yep. All uh, right, we'll get them out there as well. All righty, we got the two plecos in there. So we're going home with four instead of two, which is just fine. We always have room. Makes it more worth the drive. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank Appreciate you. it. No problem. Tell Rich I said thank you. Oh, we'll do. And uh, you have a girl, uh, yourself a great Easter. You too. All right. All right thanks thanks very much. You got all, all your right. Books? All right. He even had a couple bags of uh, some plague for the chiclets, 
and tropic flakes and he gave that to us as well so i'll get them back to rich so we got everything loaded up so i gotta get home because i got his groceries back here and i'm sure they're getting warm especially that milk <laughs> so it's only 30 minutes away so i'll be at OFR in 30 minutes guys all right we'll see you then all right made it back to OFR, but before i can get the fish in i gotta get the groceries real quick and then i'll get the fish back there all right, took some of the water out and wheeling them down to the quarantine room. And we'll figure out where we're going to put them. All right, definitely get these guys in quarantine. Tinfoil barbs? Yes, these are gold tinfoil barbs. Ooh. Oh, that's a, actually an albino. That's what your dad said. He said they, he thought they were albino going into 22 maybe. Yep, that's a possibility. Oh, he's got to go through quarantine. You know, we have some over here, but you can look at oh. him. He, he's a gold, but he's got black eyes. Oh. So he's not a true albino. Same thing with that one. They're, they're, they're just golds. But th these are true, true albinos. <laughs> All right, let's get these guys. Yeah, they <laughs> Two for one. Oh, we got a two for one. Oh. <laughs> two for one. Alright, there we go. That one up, he's stuck in there, he's barbing. Come on, bud, trying to help you. There you go. Yeah. Those are just common. Yeah. And if you look in here, we just got a alligator guard and a clown knife today. Oh. We did show you, and then there's three Oscars and a Jaguar down here in this tank over here to my left. I didn't film none of it, oh. and then these two snubrums came in today. And what is this one then? That it is a jaguar cichlid. Jaguar cichlid. Yep. So will he go into cichlid tank then? Um, eventually he will go into the 4400. He's not an African cichlid. He's a Central American. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say he looks so different than the others. <laughs> yeah. And then what else came in? These guys. Oh. Severums. Severums. They look a lot like discus almost. Kind of. They'll be end up going in this tank behind you with the rest of the guys. All right. Awesome. So another rescue completed. But Rich informed me I think we got something right around the corner in Brunswick on Monday. A lot of fish, different kinds community fish, so forth, so on, so I'll find out more about that later. Alright, so that was a nice little trip. It was a simple little trip. Big Rich and Josh have been there. Uh, actually, they rescued quite a few fish from the dude, including a piranha that hole, had a hole in its side, and evidently they cured it, just like they do a lot of other fish. Awesome. Josh got the two plecos in one move. Josh is still the dude. He's the man when it comes to that stuff. <laughs> but anyways, hope everybody had a great Easter and enjoyed the video. And yeah, look at that. I got a bunch of little fries in there. <laughs> Not sure what they are yet. So I got some yellow ones here. and I don't know. They kind of look like Dawn. So they might have got mixed up. I don't know. <laughs> but Tank's going to look cool anyways, but got another rescue coming up Monday, so hopefully that will be taken care of. It, the dude has a lot of tanks moving, selling his tanks, but is donating all his different fish to us. Uh, I'm not sure how many we'll have or how long it'll take, but ought to be an interesting one. So you guys stay fishy, my friends, and hit that like share, subscribe, and we'll go deeper with the Reaper.